So let's talk a little bit about uh, working in the organization versus working, excuse me, on the organization. In most organizations, you are here. You work in the organization. When's the last time you actually worked on the organization, on its structure? Maybe, you're, maybe you have a new job rec and you need to like write a new job description and get it approved by your boss. Now you're starting to work on the organization. Um, in Holacracy, we're always thinking about working on the organization. It's actually our duty to take care of the organization, to, to improve it over time, to give it more capacity and capability. So what we want to do is we want to get you thinking about that. What does the organization need to have more capability, more capacity? What's missing? Towards the end, we'll talk about how you know to do that. So how do we do this whole in-on thing? If you think about working in the organization, we call that tactical. Working on the organization is governance. Tactical happens every day, and we also have tactical meetings. Governance happens, um, you're constantly referring to the governance records, looking stuff up, seeing who you need from what, what you need from who. Um, but you can think of it as split into processes and structures. The main processes are the governance meeting and the tactical meeting. I will pass these cards around so you can take a look at them. This is a governance meeting card. This is a tactical meeting card. It just describes the process. Governance meetings happen monthly. They're designed to increase the capacity of the circle to achieve its purpose and accountabilities. Anyone can update the roles, accountabilities, domains, and policies of the circle according to a process. And the work that happens in governance meetings can only be done in governance meetings. The reason for that is that we're dealing with the structure of the organization. We're, we're performing surgery. And everyone needs to be able to have a say in that. It doesn't happen in a back room. It happens in a meeting. The changes are documented. Um, and then on the other side of it, we have weekly tactical meetings. Tactical meetings remove obstacles to advance the work of the circle. Anyone can bring up topics in service of their roles, anyone. And work that happens in tacticals can also happen any time during your work with people. We're simply giving, uh, giving it a space to get things unstuck when they become stuck. And we also do things like report on metrics and checklist items in these tactical meetings so people know, like, hey, we had six events last week. It's down two from the previous. That might cause someone to want to do something differently. Um, but it just, gives, it just gives this really lovely heartbeat to the organization when, you, when each team has a tactical meeting each week. Um, so those are the differences. Some things that are the same in both of these things is that when you're in a meeting, whether it's governance or tactical, you're there to help your roles, not yourself. You can try to help yourself. The process will prevent it. The process is designed to be in service of the roles, not designed to like help the people specifically. But everyone will help you get what you need until you're satisfied. That really shakes some people up. This is a really, really civilized, healthy way to run a meeting. Um, and the facility, if, you're lo if you talk out of turn, the facilitator will shut you down. The facilitator is just a referee. They're just there to enforce the rules. They're neutral. Very different kind of facilitator energy. No empathy required. <laughs>